Okay, so we brought in some data. Uh, this is your EMG data with the eight columns of data. And <laughs> I just have a sample image here that I pulled off your website, off the UCLA website. And uh, I have uh, six charts. Uh, you can see the data flowing in. I've just got the sample rate of 25 uh, samples per second and put a parser in here uh, so that we're peeling off the microvolt readings for each of the eight sensors. And so we have VL left and right, MH left and right, TA left and right, and Solus uh, left and right. And we're going from uh, really a scale from 0 to 100, uh, but I'm starting out minus 10 so we can see the deviation below 0. Um, over on the right, I've just kind of grouped the left side muscles uh, in one chart and then the right side muscles. So uh, the interesting thing about even just this um, simulated uh, real-time visualization of these sensors is uh, we're about four minutes into this eight hours worth of data. And um, I just drew a little exception here. I'll get back into the thing. Uh, there we go. And... Um, the uh, interesting thing that jumps out at me, and I'm you know, not uh, familiar with all of the details of the, uh, the study or the findings so far, is that uh, you have this um, kind of constant uh, EMG activity on the left tibialis anterior, uh, and it just really doesn't change. And we go down to here, we can see that here. That's the left uh, LTA, uh, we're at sample number 4770 there, and you can see that we are constant right at about exactly what that's showing, 12 to 15 microvolts, and uh, that doesn't seem to change. Everything else seems to be, well, uh, I guess the right side you have fairly constant uh, activity across all four muscle groups, whereas on the left side, only in that one muscle group, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, anyway, this would go on theoretically for eight hours. So what we're doing here is just essentially reliving at the same rate uh, the um, uh, EMG activity of this particular patient. And we could sit here for eight hours and watch this, or we could speed it up and set the sample rate to, uh, say, 100 samples per second and it would read at that rate. And we would see that, um, you know, we would see the entire eight-hour period in, what, a two-hour period. And then we could go to 200 samples per second and it would be 100, um, uh, excuse me, one hour. Uh, and we could go much faster. But in any case, this just gives you a sense of how this might work. Uh, this is just a visualization piece, and we're not doing any processing with this other than just uh, visualizing it. And um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. just thought I'd give you a, a sneak peek at uh, your, your data set.